Okay, another long play game just to just get the practice in basically. And I'm gonna just push for one for the pawn. So I like to think as well that um, the movements that I play in the long play games online is they replicate what I would play over the board. The big difference that I do find is that when you play over the board, they, the opponents don't necessarily play the way that the opponents play online, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to grab here, I'm going to take. So the majority of the time, it seems a little bit easier online. So it makes you look good, you know, like, whoa, yeah, yeah, I'm really good. I'm winning all the time. So this is why I take the games kind of with a pinch of salt when I'm playing online, because when you're playing somebody over the board, then they, they just come out with maybe not quirky moves, but they don't do the normal sort of, I mean, this little hedgehoggy looking thing here, you know, this is blasting through onto here. Um, but they tend to, I don't know, it's really weird. It's really weird. But that's because they know that people play online and they're playing some type of set opening so they get used to that so then obviously you want to try and circumvent those types of um, situations. This one's a little bit odd and you wouldn't normally really see this type of thing maybe in an over the board type um, situation. Uh, so it's going for a lazy man pushing the pawn down. We could push our pawn up just to block it off if we wanted to. This area is a little bit dishevelled. So you probably wouldn't expect them to queenside castle. So maybe they're saying, well, I'm not going to castle at all. So he's already thrown this pawn on the other side. So they're probably not interested in castling. So can we take advantage of that in any way, shape? I think I'm just going to develop my bishop out. Just entice maybe a pawn to come down, excuse me, and attack it or something. Oh, it's gone small. I thought it would have um, actually come here. All right. So yeah, so pawn pusher, um, usually this is not very strong doing this sort of thing, but if you overexert yourself then sometimes and you allow the pawns to manage squares and stuff, then you, you get a little bit stuck. So I'm just going to develop the knight and now the moving speed. So it does look like they're actually going to go kingside castle. It's interesting. I'm just going to bring the bishop here, see if we get a cheapie. Because the only piece defending it at the minute. Ooh. Looks like they've got a set plan thing going, haven't they? Just bring the bishop back. So we've got two pieces still on this, so you probably expect this to push down. So definitely not kingside castling now. But maybe that's their playing style. So we'll push through the centre here. We still have the two on here, so the bishop's going to just take this pawn. If the rook takes, the queen takes the rook. We do have a diagonal towards here. Do we squeeze? Well, maybe not. Knight's blocking and is attacking the bishop as well. And we can bring the bishop back. There might be method in the madness. Swing in here, did it? No, not, not just yet. The bishop's there. So he's got two pieces defending there. So we can't go and take because we've only got one piece defending our piece. So we could attack. Looking at putting a power base down onto the king. Okay, so they're moving a bit swift. Boom, push. He bring the bishop here, attacking the knight. He brings his rook down. What's it, what's it going to be worth? It is tempting to just push here, but I do believe he's just going to go here. We can push up. His knight's pawn is blocking our king situation let's push on it see what they do so it's also nice to play these crappy games anyway because like we said oh so we've got one and then if the bishop takes, and the bishop takes, but has he got a plan with the knight somehow coming in? I'm not sure, or is he giving space for his bishop to come in as well? I'm going to take, just see what the picture looks like. I feel like I'm just taking here. 
I don't want a dancing rope knight, sorry. So we're trying to maybe target this, but he can simply defend here. Ooh, he's of my knight. Bring it all the way back or bring it here just to maybe double up at some point. Okay, so yeah. They're moving real quick. They seem to be doing stuff though. I mean it's protecting the pawn, it's also attacking here. I'm actually going to bring the knight and attack the bishop now. I don't, I don't really want to be inviting pieces. Oh you're having a laugh. Oh, he's moving dead quick now, isn't he? And he's finding the right spots. Mm hmm. We're plus three at the moment. So I suppose we can give him the rook back. We'll get that back. Get the bishop back. Okay. Right. I'm going to have to move this pawn because he's going to be taking that pawn with the rook as well. I know the knight's defending, but I want to move the knight. Hmm. Interesting. So we're plus one at the moment now. Queen's coming in. He's finding all the right spots all of a sudden. I'm going to attack the queen, even though he's got the two rooks now. So he should exchange now. So we'll just take. Something miraculous happened. <laughs> mm. So yeah, when you see see these strange openings with the pawns, all that sort of stuff there like that, and then suddenly they're finding these magic positions. Um, yeah, you have to be mindful of that. Obviously, I wasn't mindful of it. Looks like we're going to get creams now. Pawns there, uh, we could take the bishop off. Let's just take the bishop off. Let's attack the pawn. Looks coming for the king. No? Okay. I'm going to hide the king here. Take a look to push, push, push. Get the rook, maybe touch onto the king a little bit. So he's looking to trade down. We do have two linked pawns. Maybe we can do something with these and start pushing these up. So it's giving us space now. Okay, let's keep pushing now. And moving so fast so it's blocked our king actually so our king can't get, get any further up there he's got the bishop let's just bring the bishop here and I like this position Who's fast enough? I don't know. He goes one, we go one. So do the count. One, he goes one. Mind you, will have a check on our king. So move, move the king. Okay, so I think we have time, don't we, to push. This is some convoluted thing. Bishop's protecting here. Get the queen. And black resigned. That was a very strange game because it felt like we'd lost the advantage because basically in a nutshell we lost our rook. 
but because we had a cluster of pawns here um, with the opponent pushing their pawns down and losing a few of their pawns in the early part of the game uh, positionally like we say position does actually help in this occasion again this is a this is another game where really i thought we lost again you know um so there's nothing nothing magical that i'm doing here i'm just trying to find those better positions like i attempt to do when i'm playing over the board and i'm always making a little bit of a blunderous move or something a move that i shouldn't be making uh, when i'm playing over the board potentially i think again in this particular game i did a move or something that i shouldn't have done because it gave the opponent i thought an advantage have a look at the um analysis on this one just to see if it did give them a big advantage or not so we'll skip skip a few skip a few yeah okay right so, <clears throat> so it's plus three at this moment in time so that's not too bad for us because uh, we're plus two it counts the material uh, position didn't look feel too bad but it's not dynamic really so we grabbed and then the bishop comes down then we move the rook because we says well shall we get ready for doubling up and maybe we should have not done that i should have seen that really i should have seen that so maybe just coming here yeah i don't really like blocking because then his bishop obviously could take this pawn so that's probably what I saw in my head. But where else can it go? Yeah, computer's even saying F3. So I mean, you probably expect them to take there. So then it can swing across. So then it's a horizontal situation. Yeah, that would have been better. But rooks don't have any place in the center of the board. So I would have been having a bit of a dicky fit there. Yeah, so I think, in essence, actually capturing the knight in the first place might have been a bit of a doozy. What's it say? Knight c4. Yeah, something like that. But again, it's got two pieces defending there. So what's the point of that? Is he looking to swing up here, attacking the rook and the bishop? Maybe something like that. Yeah, I don't, that was not a good move, I don't think, really taking there. These things do go in when I'm doing these evaluations of things. It's just like, especially if you're playing over the board type thing, get carried away with yourself or your tunnel vision, whichever way, and, you know, you make duff moves. But it's all a learning process. And like I said, it's... Um, it does become a bit of a shocker when you actually start winning some games you know especially against players who don't expect you to win because you've been losing for a period of time but if you enjoy the game you're going to gain some advantages some at some point so they captured captured yeah so that's not too good and uh, they bring the bishop bring the knight and then they realize they've got a bit of a winner here it's still showing plus point no point something and then we just didn't want the pawn being taken so they captured wow plus 4.0 isn't that interesting from them actually capturing the rook that is not a good move for them I mean for me for me positionally on the board it did feel like there's something we could do because we've got these cluster of pawns especially these two here that could eventually make the way up and if this one stayed on we still got this one at the back to act as a defender to then link up again if it got further up the board interesting times but i didn't think it was winning i thought well we're down the exchange so we're gonna struggle so the queen comes down we look to oh and it, it's not even frowning on the exchange it's actually gone up i like it okay so it went up but then what it's that's a real plus point four 
then plus 4.5 and then when we captured it goes plus 4 point that's odd anyway okay so we're in the pluses so it was it was okay I would never have thought it was okay okay we had a plan of sorts of trying to get these pawns up like we said this is basically two linked pawns is like having a rook if you play it correctly but you know if they play their rooks right you the rooks don't really stand much of a chance the pawns sorry don't stand much of a chance so i'm looking for dips now okay so and then we grabbed doesn't like the grab rook uh, rook f3 so it's looking to go here if it takes takes interesting all right i'm just happy that it's pluses excellent well I mean from this point on from here I did think it we were going to get the pawns up yeah so at this point here um did think it might be okay but there was a bit of a question mark in my head of does if he gets his king across and starts messing and using the rooks together um are we going to struggle so we start pushing but it's off with the computer saying well there's no chance of you actually losing here really and just x-ray through oh that was a bad one It's saying for, forget about that because that makes it even worse for them and we could just push here if he goes there his rook's trapped in the center isn't it so we can go here and there's nothing that can stop the promotion oh damn these small potatoes oh silly me oh i don't like that now all oh, right yeah 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 speed it's all a learning thing. Excellent. I think I've picked up quite a few things from there again. 